Uh, he's going to look at Elias and be like, Elias, are you sure? Same. Oh. Oh, right. Well, if that's what you want, you better go tell him, because he's stupid. He is kind of stupid. Yeah, it takes stupid to know stupid. Hey. He is. <laughs> she, uh, but Trissy kind of agrees. He is. <laughs> but I also don't want. I don't want the other me to die either. <laughs> Let me worry about that. You got enough to worry about. We don't have to decide on this today. No. Or at all, even. It's just... The other me just said that this thing exists, and we don't even have to do anything about it. But, yeah. Well, it's... Beatrice, how conclusive is your research? I have been researching the the uh, compound for approximately however many hours. However many hours. 12 hours. 12 hours. Uh, and as I said, this, uh, this procedure can work, but there is a lot of risk involved. Can I see a copy of your research, please? She can send you the copy. That would be Essentially great. what this would mean, she sent you the copy, essentially what this would mean is that the host would, would have the same memories, the same feelings. It's almost like the person lived two lives, two separate lives, but remembers both lives. Oh. Mm -hmm. That could be awkward. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not saying that it is an optimal existence, but it is one of the side effects because we and myself and the host would essentially be one. Mm -hmm. hmm. But you risk losing both myself and the host in the process. And by risk, I mean a good old die roll. Good old die roll. <laughs> How well, well her willpower is to be able to stand all those memories. Uh, was that the robot talking the entire time? Yes. Yes. Yes, yes the robot, was. except for the die roll part. That was out of character. Yeah, I figured that. <laughs> I'm going to look at Elias and say, now that I've had a chance to really listen to that, that is creepy. Like, really creepy. <sighs> but it would allow the other Beatrice to feel again. She would feel the same love that she felt from before. And um, Beatrix, can I ask you a question, please? You're asking the official intelligence, right? Yes, yes I am. Mm -hmm. Yes, go ahead. Without emotional ties or whatever it is you're deprived of, do you wish that you were just left dead and not in this thing, or do you actually find your current position applicable? I have no preference one way or another in this state, whether or not I am terminated or not. But what I do remember is that during my last moments, while I was still alive in my body, that I was at peace. Mm. Uh, out of curiosity, does Anar have any prior knowledge of the, um, the, uh, what are they called again? From Dragon Age. Titans. Are you? Oh. Titans? No. Uh, um, the one, uh, damn it, it's when they lose all their emotions. Oh, tranquil. 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 Well, yeah, basically we I would went to the Mage Tower, right? right? So, oh, no, you didn't go to the Mage Tower. No, so I didn't go to the Mage Tower, so I don't know if yeah. I had any. It's very simple to Tranquility. Very simple. Oh, I know that as a player. I'm wondering if Anar knows that. Yes. I would I don't doubt know. it. I would unless, doubt it. Unless we talked it. about it, and I don't know if we would have doubt outside it. of Thetis. Not since everything just happened okay. so quickly. So yeah. that basically is going to change. I'm going to be honest, Beatrix, if I was in your position, I'd rather have someone pull the plug. 
no offense. And um, I don't no know. offense is taken. Of course, there. Of course, you wouldn't. You wouldn't be able to feel offended. Uh, Elias, again, I apologize for it, the accusation. I owe you a drink for something for it. it also, thanks well, for getting me out I of there. I owe you a explanation, I think. So we'll get no. that some. Right now, my I'll... only question. I guess my only question. The official intelligence says is whether or not my existence is more of a hindrance or of a help, because. If you ask me what I desire, I desire to be helpful. Well, it depends. So the question is, is that helpfulness more with me existing or not existing? Well, frankly, I'm going to be honest. You don't want me to answer that. Elias, I'll be in the kitchen if you need me. I really need a drink or something. You know what? No. Snacks. Snacks. Cakes. Sounds it's awesome. <sighs> He has to know, Elias. This is his wife. He does know. He doesn't know what just happened. <sighs> what, you mean the option? Are you saying we just don't tell him? I'm saying that's your decision, not his. Why is it my decision, though? Because you're the one who's affected by it. I don't matter here. Don't you yes, understand? You do. I'm not from this universe. He said so himself. I didn't mean it that way. Well, I guess you could take it that way, I guess. I can't decide or even begin to s give input on matters that really isn't my business wait are we i don't talking, belong on, are here we talking about synthesis or termination here because those are two different things i guess both okay synthesis is your decision as far as i'm concerned because i know what you're thinking i can see it turning away in the back of your mind there and if it's your body that's affected then i think it's your decision what happens to your body if we're talking about termination... <sighs> but it's not just my body, it's her consciousness. Yes, I'm aware of that. And that consciousness belongs to him more than it does to anyone else. Yes, I'm aware of that too. Look, don't... Look, I've already told Anar this, but... <sighs> Where's the drone gone? <laughs> The drone? You mean the spider thing? Nope. I'm assuming My they drone. brought it back. Oh, My your drone? drone? Yeah, your drone is somewhere yeah. around there. <laughs> I'm assuming the spider thing is still with Anar or yeah. with. Oh, I've, I've got it back. Maybe, 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 or, or Meridi, or yeah, you got it. Whatever. Yeah. Anyway, go ahead. Um, I've been living with the consciousness of Anar from my universe in my suit for the last nearly three years now. Wow. That must be noisy. <laughs> you have no idea how pushy he can be sometimes. I say that with the greatest affection. <laughs> Sorry, she says, I tend to crack a joke when things get really intense. Sort of a mechanism I use with Darren all the time. Sorry. No, but the, the point is, um, like I said, termination? <sighs> yeah, it's, it's been talked about. But that would be, as far as I'm concerned, Beatrice's choice. Right, I'm going to look back at the screen. She said that she, her choice was to do whatever it was that made her more helpful. Yeah, but helpful to who? Everyone can be helpful in regardless of their capacity. She could be incredibly helpful. Everyone is both helpful and, you know, a pain to get on with sometimes. So, back to my question. Are we telling him or not because I don't want to decide that whether or not we tell him or not 
Oh, look, I'm okay with telling him, but I'm also very firmly in the court that if you do, if you want to look at synthesis as an option, that's your choice, and he stays out of it. It's still his wife. I don't think it's up to me completely. It's still your body. But like she said, we would be one in the same. Yes. Both of us equally. Yes, and that means that to a degree you're giving up a piece of yourself and you're also risking dying. And I haven't had a chance to go over these notes yet. <laughs> At any rate, hypothetically speaking, even if I was considering this option, which I'm not saying I am, okay, I'm not making this option until I see Darren again. That's fine. Okay, then. So should I... I think he should know. And I don't know if it's better coming from you or if it's better coming from me. But one of us needs to tell him. It might be better if I tell him. That way, whatever he wants isn't going to be the first thing that he blurts out to you. Fair enough. Fair I'll enough. tell him in the morning. <laughs> okay. Beatrice, thank you very much. This is uh, unexpected, but very interesting. Happy to help, Elias. And she goes, she shuts herself to sleep, I guess. Puts yeah. herself to sleep. Hibernation mode. Oh, and Elias? Yes? Uh, she says, thank you. You're welcome. She leaves. Okay. Are you guys taking care of Diana? And if so, when are you taking care of Diana? That's my question. Soon. Yeah. I want to know why we she need to have a me. meeting to plan our how we want oh, to I do it. I agree. Meeting, definitely. We also need to know whether C6 is actually planning on moving against Diana. That's true. That is true. So I'm still in their system. <laughs> Bing! What are they doing? Yes, there is a warrant for Diana's arrest. Um, however, Shai's Lazine specifically asked Arkara to take her out permanently. So mm. yes, they are. there is a warrant for her arrest, and they probably will try to um, go like start searching for her, I guess, immediately searching for immediately i don't know if they'll necessarily find her right away but uh as you can imagine she might be under a different name um, we know exactly where we she know is. where she you is. know exactly where she is so Register if you want guest to, names what do we if have? you want to pass her the information and they can just arrest her right then and there you can have them arrest her then right then and there i think that's... or you can do something else i think that's a matter for discussion although elias is personally not very keen on murder which is a bit odd, but anyway. Okay. Oh, I just realized why I was framed. <laughs> uh, we did. I did say that to you, but you might not have been paying attention. <laughs> no, I <that> wasn't. <laughs> yeah. Basically, I've had a monitor going on the uh, on the C stack chatter, so I know if they're closing in. And I'm also I'm also trying to get the video feed outside of the hotel. <laughs> they are. They're closing in, but they're not quite. Like they, 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 you think they're going to get it eventually, but yeah. not nearly as quickly as you just telling them where she is. Yeah. So, so yeah. So you guys, you can go on to, you can discuss this over breakfast. So, um, Diana. Yeah. And then I would say, yeah, Diana. Sorry, I, I keep having, how do you solve a problem like Diana? <laughs> do we have... <laughs> Any blueprints on that building she's in? More snacky can cakes? Get them? <laughs> Please. Yeah, do. you can. That's not that much of an issue. We just look at City Hall. They've got records of all the designs. Yeah. The cop in me says that we should take this to the authorities. That gets her arrested. Um, I'm mm. actually okay with this. Uh, do we have the plans now, or am I still waiting? 
Well, I've got the plans. The question is what we're doing with it, because like I said, well, I'm if I take a look, getting her arrested. Well, give me a second. If I take a moment to look at it, I'll be like, wait a second. Isn't this the building right next to the game shop? Yes, it is. Hold on. Um, can someone get Chris for me, please? Chris should be in the room. I think he's in the room having breakfast. I'll probably go. Huh. Yeah? Crap. Mm -hmm. All right, come over here. Come over here. Come over here. Sure. What's going on? Um, wasn't our facility where we made the mech somewhere underground near the base over here in the basement? Oh yeah. Yes, actually, you're right. Well. Hmm. How bad were the walls? Do you remember? I can't remember how bad my missed gunfire that day was. The walls? Well, like yeah. Did we ever get really, it fixed? We heard some. I heard. I hear some really strange noises at night. But other than that, I think the walls are fine. I'm. I'm just asking because if I've. You all wanted to go through the walls from the game shop, aren't you? We have a access way. We can get in pretty swell through here. It's just a matter if we can get in quietly or not. And even if we don't go in quietly, we can go in from the top, too. Pincer. That way she can't escape. Wait, are we trying to kill her? Uh, uh no. We're trying to, um, talk her down with fluffy buttons again. Yes, we're going to kill her. I want to oh. talk to her first, though. Wait, we need to talk to this I want. I want all of her files. Just uh, I, I want to plant that one right between her eyes, like, really bad. Yeah, Sorry, I mean, I'm not helping. Info to... Information first, and plant one in between our eyes later. Uh, <sighs> work out. I'm still a fan. Can't we just ruin her life? Because that's so much more fun. Well, as long as she's out of the game permanently. We don't know if she will be. I mean... <clears throat> Sorry, snack cakes are good. We don't know how much influence she has. She can usually get out of jail, and Damien's a no offense of putts. Who's to say Shia's wouldn't just hire someone to kill her in prison anyway? Well, I think more to the point, even if she gets out of jail, that's not our problem. If she gets out of jail, we've done the right thing by handing her over. If she then gets out later and becomes a terror to society, well... Well, I'm still on the, uh, on the line of just talking to her, get everything we need, and then just put it down nice and quietly, and I get paid, and it's all good. <laughs> oh, really? I'm with, really? I'm with Arkara, Meridi says. Uh, I'm with oh. Arkara, too, minus the pay, because I don't care. I'll take NR's share, she says. Be my guest. <laughs> of course that reminds would. me, I still need to give you money for um, designs. Your cut's quite substantial. Thanks, you. Can we not talk about fashion right now? I want to talk about finding this woman and dealing with her. Finding her isn't a problem. We know where she is. We just need to make sure she's in there, go in nice and quietly, have a chat, and then go out again. I love that plan as long as you replace nice and quality with loud and very violent and chat there with death. There are in innocence in that. Loud and violent is not oh. my style. Let's just say that. Right. right. So that's, yeah, I know you've had hostage. You've dealt with hostage situations before. What do you think? <sighs> Obviously, if we can do this as quietly as possible, someone We're like her, she's going to be. Mm. Arkara, your phone starts to. Vibrate. Oh, hold on, I gotta take this. I answer. It's shy, isn't it? Arkara, darling, I have some more information for you. Right on time, what's up? She says, I did a little bit more digging, and it seems that uh, our friend Diana, as I suspect, has a little muscle to sort of guard her from danger while she's staying at her apartment. Oh, really? To Krogan and Avorcha specifically. Mercenaries? Indeed. The two Krogan currently are are posing as security officers over at the at the uh, facility, and the Vorcha just got a job there as 
a custodian. <laughs> well, that's not suspicious at all, is it? Hmm. Well, this is the Citadel, darling. I guess they try to be all, you know, try to Inclusive? give every single person a chance. You know how my feelings are with Vorcha or anyone in the Terminus systems for that matter. Hmm. But I just wanted to let you know. Thank you. That is very useful. I'm just going to say I am so happy I did not sign that contract. Mm -hmm. I love that woman immediately right now. <laughs> I swear there's something fishy about it, but I couldn't work it out. Sorry. Um, we can take care of the guard if someone else wants to take care of her. And no, I'm not suggesting violence. I know you want to talk. And honestly, I'm kind of curious if she knows anything. Knowledge is power, after all. In addition to that, she sends you um, a, a floor plan of her apartment showing that there has been some... Engineering, engineering activity in our apartment in the form of improvements, maybe electrical in nature, perhaps traps of some sort. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, the the uh, the location of all of the electronic signals are uh, highlighted in color on the map. Okay, guess that's a job for me. Yeah, that's useful. How are people so, with sleeping gas? I'm Don't fine. Get sleeping gas? I don't have a nose. Uh, Does chloroform work on... Chloroform should work, right? That works on, on all organics. Sorry, I've been watching too much human TV. <laughs> no, too many, too human TV is good. In fact, um... I know, right? I've been watching that strange thing called anime lately. <laughs> it's awesome. Um, just so you all know, we do have extra muscle in the city. This is our universe, and we still have our Eclipse contacts. The X ones, not the current ones. Cyrus is our go-to man for that, though. You'll have to talk to him. I'm just saying we can get extra muscle if we need it. We could need a distraction for those guards. Taking down two Krogan and Vorcha should be a piece of cake. The traps are the only things that we wouldn't be able to get past. Well, me oh, and our yes, partner can take care of that. We can, get, we can get past the traps. Then I think this should probably be a very trivial operation, Cyrus says. Okay. Go in, Petra. Ask her some questions. Who's really good against traps? Well, we could just drop her off in a different universe. That's <laughs> very interesting. Um, I like this plan. That, that, I like that. Wait, are you referring to Diana? Yes, yes, I was. Oh, okay. Um, just, just stick her away. It, it neutralizes her. Gives yeah. her a very big, we're not happy with you. Definitely. I like this plan. Gives us more time to talk to her as well. To figure what out what's that? going on. I get to exert some anger issues, so I'm happy. <laughs> on to Krogan and the Vulture. I like you more and more every day. Have a snacky cake. <laughs> <laughs> but you can't have these. These are mine. That's fine. I'll go to Montreal. So, what, mercenaries going in from the top so that they're an obvious gut entrance, and then we go in from underneath the game, between the walls, through the game store? Or would you just like me to, I don't know, rent the apartment above her suite? I think that would be the yeah, easiest way. Just go in quietly, make sure someone distracts the guards, make sure we get past those traps. That's your area. And someone to watch her movements, just in case she figures out who we are. That little spider thing seemed to work well for those kind of things. Yes, it also makes a horrible hat. <laughs> it's a bit small for a hat. Yes, that's true. Just Which floor bit. is she on, Hawk? Say that again? Is she on the penthouse suite? She's totally on the penthouse I, suite. Uh, I think that would that would make it... She wants to not be found. So I don't think she would want to put herself in anything other than just one of your typical apartments. A penthouse would be a little too... Mm -hmm. Out in the open, I think. Okay. So, so no, it's just one of the generic apartments. Like, apartment... 78C or yeah, something. 
And these, these are ones that don't have connecting doors, right? They do not have connecting doors. Damn it. <laughs> yet. Yet, I guess. Yet. I just got an idea. Yet. <laughs> well, I was going to say, who wants to go hire an apartment? I'm thinking Let's about looking it. for a job as a janitor. <laughs> They do seem to hire random people, so go for it. That could work. That's true. Would you just like us to... We can just forge forge their papers and get you on the books. You don't actually have to get hired. Just as long as I'm close enough to that board to get him out of the way. Go for it. Great. Let's uh, stop thinking about this and do it. So Anar's got the Vorcha. Who's going to take out the uh, the Krogan? Want me to snap some spells? Uh, I'll give you support. Or a card. <laughs> I can do support at least. We'll back you up, patch you up if you need. And I am going to be in the apartment next door, working on the traps. So I'm going to go in and be in place ahead of time. Um, so Sephia, did you want to come with me? Uh, I mean, I was going to support, Stace. but yeah, if you need. Stace. Yeah, I was gonna have you like stasis on the <laughs> Actually, that might be a good idea. Um, mm -hmm. In that case, how about Sink and I go mine the apartment, and you and Akara can try to take out take on the Krogan. Sounds good. Sounds like a good idea. I'll deal with the Vorcha. Let's <laughs> crack some skulls. I'm gonna do All right. Once I get so, the Vorcha, he can help with the Krogan. That afternoon, Elias and. Sink will go, I guess, rent an apart rent an apartment, or <laughs> for however long you're subletting, I guess, whatever. And um, with enough and, money, uh, it's possible. I'm sure it's possible. We only need it for one night. <laughs> I know, right? This isn't sus at all. Oh dear. <laughs> so um, you've got the money, though. Elias has the money. Yeah. He's got the creds. You can probably like rent the apartment for like three months or something. It's Airbnb. Just, psh, whatever. Whatever, it's fine. <laughs> it's okay. I'm sure you'll donate it the room to like some orphans or something. But anyway, so the um, you guys go in and you start uh, using you know using your key to move in. Um, one of the um, there's a one of the humans or a Turian rather a Turian is walking by, uh, looks towards Sink's uh, Sink's location and says, "Oh hey, I remember you from the from." From CSEC, congratulations on your wedding. Hey, thanks. <laughs> and, uh... It's a shame our best man couldn't make it, but, you know. I love how he's doing this while it looks like Sink is sneaking into an apartment with, with Elliot. <laughs> Oops. 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 Oh, dear. Hi. Wait, I thought um, we were going to the apartment we bought. I'm sorry. Yeah, you are. Oh, okay. It's just like in passing in the hallway, like one of the CSEC officers notices you. He's off. He's out of his uniform. Okay. But he recognizes you as as the couple that was there. Oh, yeah. Anyway, so oh, we so should have brought Meridi, shouldn't we? Whoops. <laughs> it's okay. It's better she stays out of this. Later that evening, um, I think I guess who goes in first? I guess. Anar will go in, and he's wearing a oh no janitor no, 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 no. janitor outfit. He's oh, wearing what? overalls and a red shirt and a red cap and a fake mustache. <laughs> no, I'm a plumber. Very nice. I'm a plumber <laughs> custodian. You're a plumber. You're, you're the plumber. Yes. Does it have a big M on the front? Uh, no, it's A for awesome. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But I got a plan for that Vorcha. Okay. Uh, you enter in first, and you see that the Vorcha currently... You, you try to find the Vorcha, and you manage to s notice that the Vorcha is actually inside the um, community bathroom on the main floor, the main area, community bathroom. Um, it looks like he's trying to unclog the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so am I... And he's cursing. <laughs> am I at the door or something? Yeah, you can be at the door. He's got his back to you. Is he playing um, if you want music by any chance? Um. Yes, he is. He's got head. He's got earphones on, and he's plugging away. He's excellent. Like plunging away. He's I'm gonna to take rain. my. I'm gonna he's take my to tools, Ooh. and I'm gonna go to one of the stalls. Okay. And he's not gonna hear anything because he's got his headphones nope. on. And then nope, I'm gonna go over to him, 
gonna tap him on the shoulder. I was like, "Oh, mamma mia! Have you seen the nasty <laughs> mama that's over in the toilet?" Uh. Are you saying it loud enough so he can hear you? No, I slap him on the head. It's like, are you listening to me? Um, you slap him in the head? Okay, like like just to get his attention or to knock him yeah, out? Yeah, just no, just get his attention. All right, you get his attention. He he looks up at you, and then he takes off his head his headphones. What? What do you need? You should uh, look at uh, the uh, stall uh, at the end. Uh, someone left a nasty bomb. Uh, it looks like they bent over uh, and uh, emptied a shotgun. Uh. Oh, yeah, he says, she... I didn't sign up for this. <laughs> oh, he yeah, says, neither of us have a uh, brother. Uh. <laughs> like, yes, oh, I'll take a... If you need help, I'll let me finish this first. No, just go take a look at it. I promise, it's just, ugh, you, you want to see this. Oh. All right, all right. Okay, it's and as he's going over there... Yep, he's going I over am, there. Yes, and as he's going over there, I'm at the door, and I'm pulling out a boombox from my bag, and I was like, "Okay, do you see, do you see the bomb?" It slams the door. It's an actual okay. bomb. It's a grenade. It's an actual right? bomb. When, when he <laughs> looks grenade. into the toilet, there is a huge bottle oh. of C4, and oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> and and our what, special no, 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 no. And what's on the bomb is a big Garfield head with the eyes going left and right, left and right. And in the mouth is a digital timer counting down. <laughs> and then I put the boombox so in the chair, the crank grocery. up the tunes, and then say, fire in the hole. <laughs> and then there's a big giant explosion. Pieces of ceramic go every which way, and toilet water and toilet paper. It's like the entire room gets TP'd basically with flying toilet paper and several body parts uh, go around. Um, um, with the boomy music, I will look inside and go, now it's a spicy I'm eat the bowl. <laughs> I'll close the door and I'm going to section it off and write the words out of order. Okay. Which is good because there are several people who are passing by and one of them uh, waves at you as uh, as uh, they as they um, go, and, and uh, I'll wave back and uh, mop like nothing happened. <laughs> Very nice. All right, <sighs> you're all Next. good to go. Uh, Arkara and Sesepia, you guys make it into the scene shortly after. Um, and uh, what is your plan currently? Um, I I. Use four while she's the one taking them out. Basically, kind of, kind of a singular or kind of a, yeah singularity gun combo. That's working. Incidentally, before okay. that happens, I'm hacking. How are you getting into gates. the? How are you getting into the building? I guess is my question. Uh, mm. Through the game store, wasn't it? Yeah, Chris can show on the way. Yeah, that's fine. Chris will lead you over. Before you get in, I am hacking all the video feeds so that nice. this doesn't that's a good appear. idea. Yes, it's a good idea. Chris I'll will lead you in. First. So they can say, yes, it's being tampered with, but they still can't get the original footage because there is none. He will say, all right, uh, this is about as far as I guess I can go, so you guys, good luck up there. I'll be here if you need me. Thank you. Thanks for the help, Chris. No problem. I'm a helper. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Chris. You guys, um, I guess, what is your plan? Are, are you dressed up as anything? Are you just in your street clothes? What are you? What are you guys doing? Are you in all black? Like, what is this? What are you doing? <laughs> um, uh, furniture removalists. <laughs> <laughs> You're helping people move in. I was more thinking, Sisepia is the VIP. I need to be her bodyguards. So I just need to look big and beefy. That's true. Okay. The, room, yeah. the, room, the apartment has so, been under fuchsia. Yeah, fuchsia. Okay. So Sesepia <laughs> is dressed in what exactly? Um, this is on the higher gown. Yeah. Um, yeah. All right. So you're wearing this really sultry sequin dress, cocktail Ooh. dress, I guess. Mm. Hubba hubba. Uh, <laughs> Sesepia looks. I'm. Looks, she's. I think noticeably blushing. 
It's very, it flatters, I mean, like I said, normally you're not used to seeing Sasepia seeing anything that flatters her body, but this one definitely does. It shows a little cleavage here, which Sasepia actually has a decent amount of cleavage. <laughs> so, um, so yeah, so think, so, 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 so think, you know, femme fatale. Think femme fatale, basically. Jessica Sasepia. Rabbit? Yes, oh, Jessica wow. Rabbit. Yes. Oh, shit. <laughs> yes. But, you know, that's, that's, you know, so she's got, maybe she has the purple gloves and everything. Um, this is definitely the most feminine you have seen Sasepia to date, even from the game. <laughs> oh, Lord. When uh, you Dodge pass by no Sasepia, there are um, several people who, uh, to get onto the elevator, like, give you a few you like second looks. Have a look at that. <laughs> She's right, getting a lot of attention Yay. right now. Uh, one of the uh, one of the um, the, the uh, citizens who is also another Turian um, asks you, "Hey, uh, so uh, are you uh, new to the apartment?" Uh, yeah, just moving in now. Oh, what floor do you live? I'm on the fifth floor. Oh. Um. I don't know what floor they rented out. Um, I think it was eight. It was the eight. I'm all the way up on the eighth floor. Oh well, if you uh, if you want me to introduce to you some people, you know, I can uh, maybe sh show you around. Um, we're really close over at this apartment. Uh, we like to go. Do you like to game? We go over to the gaming shop um, uh, <laughs> almost every other Friday. Sure, I'll tell you what. If I see you again, we'll plan something out. Oh, that'd be great. That'd be great. Look us up. Table. You're not into tabletop role playing, are you? <laughs> Never you done it before. Do you have to say it to absolute <laughs> Oh, I can't do it. <laughs> <laughs> what, wait, what did she say? It's like, um, it's like, never done it. No. Uh, he says, well, it's got a little bit of a you know, taboo stigma, but it's really cool. You get to, you know, pretend that you're someone you're not and, you know, go on adventures and save the world and all. Ah, uh, ah, uh, that's okay. I got a bit of an excitement in my own life, my own adventures. Uh, okay. Uh, what did you say your name was? Fuchsia. Fuchsia. Nice to meet you. My name is Rexter. He holds out his hand to shake. And... <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, What's our, while this is happening, what is the expression on Akara's face? I'm just curious, because you're watching this, so what? She, she's trying to hold back a smirk. It's like, you can see the corners of her mouth twitching a little bit. It's like, trying is her is her elbow back. kind of is her elbow kind of twitchy? You know, it's, uh, it's like. It's, <laughs> uh, Akara, help me here. We really should go look at your apartment, shouldn't we? Yes, we should. Let's get going. Come here, Dad. All right. The elevator doors open and you guys exit. All right. What do you guys do now? You are in an empty hallway on the eighth floor. Do we have um, communication with uh, Elias and Sync? Yes, Elias. Elias, from where you are, if you're looking at the camera feeds, you are able to see that one of the Krogan is actually... Um, he's actually walking up and down the hallway where Diana's apartment is. The other, the other Krogan is... Um, you saw the other Krogan step inside of Diana's apartment. Okay, well, I'm sending this. I'm sending the, the drone to Diana's apartment to creep under the door. Uh, okay. Um, first Krogan is patrolling the hallway. I think she's on floor seven. Mm hmm. Yeah, patrolling the hallway on floor seven. Um, I think there's a staircase. So if you take that down. The, uh, yeah, the emergency stairs, you should be able to sneak out that way if the door stops, I can override it. The other one went inside the actual apartment, I don't yet have visuals. Right. 
Also, traps have not yet been disarmed, so quiet would be good. Yeah, I was thinking that. Don't want to make too much of a ruckus. Also, just as a note, the service elevator would be a very good place to hide a mercenary. <laughs> good idea. From the from the bug, you are able to see that the um, the TV is on. Um, it seems like the Diana is at a desk, not half paying attention to the TV, half not paying attention. She's on a computer of some sort, laptop-like computer, typing away, and the other Krogan is standing by the window, like looking out the window, with it, and he's got a rifle in his hand. Second Krogan is by the main window looking out over the balcony, has a rifle, looks like an assault rifle, can't tell model number at this point. Diana is at a desk, TV is on, I can totally distract her. You can clearly hear the sound of Liam Nathaniel Musi saying something on the TV. Liam's on, again. Liam is currently talking um, to... Uh, oh, yes. What you hear is Liam is doing an interview about... Um, he's doing an interview with someone. Uh, and Elcor, actually. Comedian Elcor. He's going to be opening up uh, for Elias at his concert. Oh, really? Comedian Elcor. <laughs> oh, there we go. Carlos, brother. Yeah. <laughs> it looks, like, it it looks like Red Meat Pied also his brother. This is weird. Anyway. <laughs> that is on. weird. No accounting for taste. Um, I am, uh, I'm going to see if I can, one, um, deactivate all of the electronic uh, traps. Or either that, or get control over them. What exactly are they? Please tell me they're turrets. Turrets? Are they turrets? From inside... I don't think they're turrets from inside the apartment. Well, what traps They're more they like... Have? They're more... They are more like... I don't know if any of you played Fallout 4. I in, play it almost religiously. When I okay, get the well... The, the traps in Fallout 4 that I've come up upon are like the ones that give off the electric shock. They're, they're, they're like... Fun. Yeah. Yeah, those are the type. That's the kind of traps that's there. Is the electric shock traps? Oh, we'll fry a rad roach in seconds. <laughs> exactly. Um, I'm sending. Uh, I'm sending an overlay to your visors and/or helmets. This will tell you exactly where not to step. Exactly. Okay. And I don't and actually need to. Sense. I don't actually need to hack the traps, though. I can if you want me to. And while this is going down, uh, Sink's gonna gear up too, and he he's gonna put a charge of HAX on the floor above, just in case things go south. He can just bow it, and and him and Elias can drop from the ceiling. Okay. I, I cut him off guard just in case. Well, let okay. me know when you need, let me know when you need a distraction. Uh, Hacking into the. What do you guys? What do you guys do with the Krogan that's that is? basically going up and down the hallway to Sepia and Artara. If you want to wait, I can actually... You know how... Have you guys played Assassin's Creed? Yes. First you, know how you, burst out of, you know how you burst out of um, doorways to grab people? Yes. I can tell you exactly when he's walking by, but you can probably hear it. <laughs> <laughs> and the cameras are... And I've fixed the camera feed, so it's just him walking up and down and up and down and up and down. Yep. Sounds like a plan. I like this get out my dagger and everything. You guys will situate yourself up so that you can do a little uh, oopsie grab from the corner. <laughs> I would like for Arkara to please roll me a strength check and brawling. strength brawling. And Sisepia, what are you going to do? Sad. Um, I wish someone joined me. Mischief. That's 26. Okay, and Sisepia, what do you do? Um... What can she do? Okay, look over Um, I don't know if there's anything I can do biotically. That was his role, by the way. Yeah. Well, I was gonna say stasis. Stasis? I don't have stasis. Oh, don't you? No. I, yeah, I, I didn't get stasis because I thought Dylan was gonna stasis. Oh, I have, yeah, I have stasis. Okay. 
Um, Ar between yeah. Arkara and Zasepia, give us a visual on what you do to this poor Krogan. <laughs> <laughs> what do you do? What um, happens? Imagine Arkara would be the one to take him down. Um, look at the handcuffs from... Wait, 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 wait. So, so I can kind of, at least, if, if he's pinned, get him handcuffed. So he, and then... Okay, so he passes by and Arkara does what? I'll just reach out. Grab him by the head plates and just rip him in with him together with us. When you when you grab him, he he yells out, "What the!" and he starts like cursing. Right before um, that happens, the TV in uh, Diana's apartment switches over to one of Elias's concerts. <laughs> nice, <laughs> <laughs> very nice. Uh, you hear you hear uh, a voice uh, in the other side of that door say. Trevor, there's the TV's on the fritz again. I thought you had the thing repaired. <laughs> Shut up! He <laughs> says, I'm washing my back here. Oh, you're useless. I, she says, I, my mother warned me, but I didn't listen. <laughs> Shut up! Anyway, oh, God. that just happened. <laughs> Gotta cover the noise somehow. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, all that yelling definitely covers the noise. So while that's happening, mm. while all the domestic stuff is happening, Sasepia does what? Um, all I can do is handcuff. I don't really have any biotic. Gag, handcuff and gag. Yep. Yeah. Oh, your cherry right. poppers? Or just slit his throat. Or oh. just slit his throat. Oh my god. I'm not there, so... <laughs> Our car is a mercenary. She, she I can, can do it. I can push him out a window. I blew up a wall. Is that what no, you no, do? No, no, we're gonna hide him. Yeah, <laughs> no, just hide, just hide. Where are you going to hide the body? Or where are you going to hide him? Uh, in the service elevator, as uh, yeah, per suggestion. Yeah. Okay. Just as an FYI, he was carrying on him. Take whatever Krogan Armin you currently have and go up one level. Oh, Krogan great. And Murder and shopping. I think I go up one of the better ones. Right? Well, I think you have the best one you can take without damaging, without reducing your stats, right? I think so, yes. Uh, From what you told me? The this uh, armor has been modified so that it doesn't reduce your stats. Ooh. So it's I the next one. Got new armor. It's the next one. And I it actually have reduce the best stats. one already. <laughs> okay. I have the Titan one. No, but, You have the but, Titan wait. one? How much. I got it. Well, it's been modded. How much. Um, how much uh, barrier does it. Or def I guess barrier? Can I, uh, shields. How much shields does it have? Six kinetic, kinetic barriers. Six kinetic air barrier? Yeah. This one has... Ten. Oh, wow. This one has ten kinetic barrier. Same wow. thing, but has ten. Cool. In addition to that, he's got an assault rifle. Um... You normally wield an assault rifle, yes? SMG. Yes. Okay. I thought you used your SMG now. Is there a room to... Um, or, uh, I guess yeah, what, when I have the shield, I'm using the SMG. Oh, okay, sorry. Is there one that's one better than the one you have? Uh, let's see... The only other thing that he has is a... Um, the only other thing he has in his possession is a nudie magazine. A various... <laughs> various of course it aliens does. In, you know, he's got a Fornax. <laughs> yeah, he's got a Fornax. <laughs> Uh, All right. I, I have one that isn't on the list, but it has the same stats as a breaker, Casa Fabrication Breaker. Okay. The other, and then there's one more thing. He actually has a pair of handcuffs that um, require, that are more, um, that are stronger than your standard handcuffs, and it actually gives the person an electrical shock if they struggle. Yeah. Use those on him. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> he has he has he has two of them. Two pairs of them. Nice. So you can either keep them or you can do whatever you want with yeah. them. We'll use one on him and keep the other. <laughs> okay. That's my suggestion. I've already slit his throat, so Oh really? Oh, yeah. okay. You already slit his throat. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Uh, so there's no need. For... All right. Yay. So there's two handcuffs that are free. Yay! I'll take them. Two. More for you. Yeah, you would want them. 
<laughs> Later that night in Sink's bedroom. Okay. Um, oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> that would mess with his systems, all right. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and he's going, Oh, that was a recharge. Oh, hello, battery. <laughs> <laughs> that actually felt quite good. Okay, anyway. Meanwhile, um, what's going on with the rest of your sting operation? There's just one guard left and Diana in her room. Uh, I'll t look to Elias and say, if you want, I could use my Omnihook to swing over. And then, uh, I'll go maybe to what I guess. That. Oh, I was gonna say maybe. I was gonna say maybe do that after we get their attention to the door. Right, right. Well, uh, if if yeah, either they charge in or uh, or. If I, I can just... also distract. I can also pretty much distract the guard from the window. I'll okay. just get to tell to Diana. She won't appreciate that at all. Certainly, <laughs> what is on Diana's computer at the moment? What is she working on? What is that? What is she working on? Yeah. Uh, she is currently working on... She's actually, right now, purchasing tickets for Elias's concert at the Kuna. Weird. Oh, she is not. <laughs> What's she up to? Uh, you can't tell, because right now that's all she's doing at the moment is buying tickets. But you don't know what else she's doing on her computer. Well, I think she probably has another window up. She has another window up, and there seems to be a, um... It appears to be a a document that contains um, that contains information on a drug that you've never heard of. Interesting. Copy, screenshot, photo. Um, Which may or may not be important later. Yes. <laughs> um, incidentally. Uh, Okay, what I'm gonna do is when everyone else is in place, is I'm gonna hack the TV downstairs to also switch from one of Elias's live concerts, preferably quite loud. Okay. Well, live, but you know, pre-recorded. Yes. I'm just press Diana from her terminal for a moment while I try to hack that. While she's so you're distracted. you're 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 making her TV show Elias's concert. Yep. Yes, I am. The TV goes and turns on to your concert. Uh, Diana looks towards it, she looks slightly irritated slash surprised, and then I guess she takes the remote and tries to, you know, lower the volume or change the channel. Right, but while she's do doing anything. that, I'm gonna try to hack her computer. <laughs> Roll a hacking. Okay. Words I love to hear. 34. What specifically are you trying to do on her computer? Um, gain access to her files and work out what she's doing. That, I'm not actually trying to do it to modify the computer, I just want to get access to it so I can download everything on it. Okay, well, how much time do you have to, do you think you have right this moment to sift through her files? I'm not sifting through, I'm just copying as much as I can. All right, yeah, you can start doing the copy. Yeah. And then she's gonna get back to her computer and not notice that, you're, that you've done anything. That's all okay. I'm doing. I'm all right. Her, I'm in her computer, I'm getting all her files, so yeah, whenever people want to start, Okay, right before we start, though, I'm gonna go over to my, I guess, I'm sure we bought a briefcase or something. Well, we have a luggage. Yeah, and yeah. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna pull out and put on my silver longsword that uh, Maximilian gave me. Oh, nice. Oh, nice. <laughs> nice. Okay. Good test. Very nice. Go ahead. And then what happens? Well, I think it's knocking on the door or going through the door. Right. Which do you want us to do? Our Whichever blog. one you guys want to do. We we need to get if we can get the guard away from the window, Sink can get down there when you guys are in. If you need distraction detail, I'm widely available. Do you have any more of uh, that C4? Um, let me check my pack. Uh, yes, yes, I do. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Might not be as quiet and maybe not as practical, but considering we pretty much have our files, I suppose we can go in with a bang. Well, do you still want to <laughs> interrogate her? Because if you do, we need to get her out without causing too much attention. Oh, you know, Pollux, that's a thing. 
All right, I let's, come let's up send off a lift so she doesn't get away. See me and I can run away. Well, that's get true. Over here, Anna. Be able to kind of like lift her up so she's not getting anywhere. Yes, or something, or neural shock, or stasis, because you guys have the biotics. So you're knocking on the door. Waiting for Anna to get there. Okay. Just yes. The, the I'll be going up the stairs, and when I come That's into fine. view, I'm going to be unloading some duct tape. I'll be holding C4, okay. and I'm going to be saying out loud, very loudly, "Man, I can't wait to blow up that Diana girl." Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> Not now, Anna. Not now. Talk first. Blowing up later. No, it's not that. It's to distract the guard. The oh. guard's over by the window. I don't think they've... Yeah, I just looking over the balcony, right? You, you can hear Elias, the red Elias' music pumping out loud and being rapidly turned down in volume. Right. <laughs> right. Oh, by the Me way, I turned the volume back up high on the TV. <laughs> Me and Anna are up front. If she answers the door, we'll just grab her and... Well, put her in cuffs, I suppose. I do then we can deal with it. If the guard comes, we know what to do. I can tell you who's coming first. Yes, that's perfect. <laughs> Mind out of gossip, please, Anna. Elias, <laughs> while while this is happening, you one of the files that uh, whizzes by uh, catches your attention. You open the file and you find out that the guards are have uh, the guard and herself inside the room. They have wristbands on. Yeah. Um, and the wristbands, what it does is it prevents the trap from activating when they are in the vicinity of the trap. They're activating on them specifically. Mm. So mm. I sabotage the wristbands. <laughs> Roll a hacking. Both of them. <laughs> um, I'm gonna sabotage the wristband on the guard. We want Diana alive. The, those traps are potentially lethal, right? Potentially, yes. Potentially. Yeah. Um, I'm just gonna say I'm gonna try to just. Dis- the guards have uh, wristbands that prevent the traps from activating on them. Diana's got one too. Let me see if I can play with this one. Should have grabbed the wristband of the other guard then if he had one. Oh well. Yeah. Well, I didn't realize that's what they were. Um, that is true. Yeah. You probably wouldn't have really paid much attention. Thirty-four to again. Before. Yep. You succeed. Wristband you deactivate the wristband. If you can get him anywhere near one of those traps, which should be ill in your visors, and are maybe don't go in there. Um, uh, yes, he should go zap. Well, just knock on the door then, I guess. Yeah. See if this scenario works yeah. out the way we want it to. The bardic knock spell. You knock on the door. Um, at that point, um, Diana quickly looks towards the, uh, towards the door. She takes her, she slams down the top of her laptop. She lowers the volume a little bit. She goes over, she looks over towards the Krogan without saying a word. She kind of gives him a, you know. The Krogan nods. He leaves the window. He walks over towards the door. As Krogan soon as he steps, incoming. as soon as he steps, um, at a certain spot, there's, this big flash of light, and you hear this zapping sound, and the Krogan goes, <laughs> and then he falls over, out. Uh, at that moment, there's a big commotion. Diana screams, uh, yells out with a very loud uh, Asari curse. Uh, she gets up and um, she pulls out um, from her, uh, the, like wedged, I guess, in the cushion of the seat that she was in. She pulls out a a gun of some sort, um, and then she points it towards the door. She's armed, she's pointing at the door. I can, if you guys want, I can actually mute all sound coming out of that apartment. Do it. Okay, I'm activating the wave dampener that um, Quinton built in, that Quinton, <laughs> that, that Salo built into the, uh, the drone. Elias is so OP. And for my next trick, I will do for my, Elias, for Elias's next trick, he's going to turn water into wine. Maybe he'll start walking on water. I didn't make the drone. It yes, was a I gift know. from Salo. Uh, I know, it was a gift from Salo. If me uh, and Salo. If me and Thank Ankara. you, Salo. If me and Kara know the, um, by the way, thank you, Salo. I feel like you enjoy. Um, if we know the plan that he plans to do, 
we can double team and she can pull out the shield and I can hike up on her shoulder with a gun ready. Yep. Let's do yeah, it. And while they're doing that, I'm going to get ready to jump off and like last one and swing around the balcony. Um, where her. is Diana? All right. Does Diana have her back to the balcony or is it off to her side? Yeah, she has her back to the balcony. She's facing the door right now. I think if yes. you go down the balcony now, she'll land right behind her. All right, well, here goes. And I'll activate my Omni tool and uh, I guess while I'm running, latch onto the railing and then jump off and try to swing around. Roll roll me a strength. You can just drop uh, down behind her, be, right? Would it be acrobatics or a strength? Yeah, acrobatics. I'll say acrobatics. Tell me what the value is, please. Sure. Don't fail. Yeah. That would be bad. Yeah, fail would be bad. 15! Okay. You uh, use your grappling hook. You you kick off of the edge of the, I guess, window, if you're jumping out the window. You swing forward and uh, kick your legs out so that you actually crash right through the window. Shards of glass go all over the place. You're fine, though. Your damage reduction resists it. And um, Diana is startled. She turns around. Go through the door she... now! <laughs> I barge through the door. You barge through the door, she turns around, she fires. I'm gonna roll to see if she hits you. She hits you. How's my healing? Only four points of damage, I rolled really low. Wow. Only four points of damage, which you probably soak up. I do, right? Um, You open the door, there's still electricity, like, surging in the area in front of you, Arkara. I'm gonna deactivate the traps if I possibly can. Roll a hacking again. Or electronics. Oh, it's, whatever it's still suits you. Whatever suits your fancy. You'd be so lost if we were fighting an SRE. 35. 35. Yes. You deactivate the electricity just as Arkara opens the door. And then what happens? Stay right now you have her you have her, you know. Also, it's if you try talking, the sound flanked. Is, there's no sound. Flank. You have her flank. There's no sound because uh it, the all sound is being cancelled right now. Right. So I'm now communicating with you all by text. <laughs> uh, well, if, if well, if she's looking at me, I'm gonna pull the sword out and try to neural shock her at the same time. Okay. I just you stand there the blocking sword. the door so she can't run. Uh, whatever. Do you have to roll for the neural shock? Okay, I'll go ahead and do that. I don't think I've ever used this one yet. Oh. 25. And the yeah. wild guy. That works. You actually are able to shock her. Because of the high roll, you can shock her to incapacitate her immediately or at least stun her for several seconds. Incapacitate works. Yeah, I'll just do the knockout. Okay. You'll knock her out completely? Okay. She will, she will start to um, convulse um, and then eventually will fall over to the ground. Fall to the ground. Great. 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 Unconscious. Dampening can now go off, so sound can return. So, get the laptop, get the drone, and let's get out of there. Yep. Uh, In the meantime, how do we get a body can we out of here? kick her first, you know, just for good measure? <laughs> uh, I get Servants to step into handcuff her, and basement. I'll pick her up. Yeah. Okay. You would do Service that. elevator down to the basement. In yep. the meantime... All right. While that's happening, I'm going to calmly gather the bag that we brought with us, leave the room, and take the lift down to the lift lobby and leave the building. Okay. So I'm going to do that before Diana leaves. The rest of you guys, um, when you making when you go down the elevator and make your way out the door, you hear like some human yelling yelling out, "What the f?" Like the bathroom's closed again. <laughs> 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 And then that's all you hear as you leave. I'll twiddle my mustache. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you guys leave, and no one, at least, will know anything until probably the next morning. Yeah, the smell is quite. Sisek <laughs> is gonna have a field day with this one. <laughs> so, what are you doing with Diana now? Jump to blue. <laughs> I was about to ask that if we, if y'all wanted to jump, just get out of Dump here. Her down. Throw her down the river. <laughs> well, we need to jump somewhere. Jump, jump, not jump. <laughs> we, we still need to talk to her. Questioning her. 
Yeah. Yes, but I suggest we jump in the meantime. Yeah. Um, and we still need to I think there's that, uh, stuff that you need, guys. Need. Where are you guys jumping? Actually, I was going to say on the way back, I'm going to go with Pi to close that rift. Or the the portal. Yes, good idea. Yes. I'm going to yes. close that portal. You will close. Yes. I might bring. I might need to... to bring Rudy or someone else to to carry creeper device or something. But yes, we're going to close That's that fine. rift. Yeah, you can die. You guys can do that. That should be fine. Yeah, so I'll do that, and I'll meet you guys back on the ship. Yep. And you are going to jump where? Uh, <sighs> do we want to go to blue? blue? Or do uh, we want to go... I need to find is... my one way or another. If, if we want to find is, Trixie, we blue. need to go blue. Yeah, we need to go blue. Just I to think be sure. we should, because look, I, as much as I want to go green before blue, we may have to jump around a bit more, because mm -hmm. we wanted yeah. to do some snooping in green before... Looking up sinks uh, research in blue. I'm gonna but be I think honest. To go. <clears throat> if you guys decide to go to green, I'm going to no. have to split off. I don't think no. we are. That's the thing. I want to go to blue first, and I'm yep. just saying we might have to double back and do some jumping around further down the line. But I want to go to blue first. Okay. Yeah, because we the whole reason we came first was to see if she had pox symptoms. That well, right. well we well we also came here because and I need to see her for a while, but. Now, we, now it's a case of, is she still okay? Right. And I think we need to Why find out. Why is she being abducted? Yes. Yeah. Something so, like yeah. fishy. So let's hop to it. I don't have a huge amount of time left. Yeah. Okay. Yep, sorry. Uh, before, well, before we be jump... the session, I'm imagining. Yeah. Before we jump, uh, I send off a small uh, message to Shia's Lucene saying that Diana is taken care of. She won't be a trouble anymore. She'll have mysteriously... Shai Lazim will say, thank you, Arkara. We will trans... She says, I will transfer the money. I think it would probably be another... Uh, this one's a big one. <laughs> we'll say that they put in, like, another 500,000 500, credits. Like, this is a big Damn. one. Big one. Oh, you know what we should 500, do? 500,000 credits. We should package her up and give her to Rain. <laughs> <laughs> She will transfer 500,000 credits into your account, and she will then ask, um, are you still planning, are you planning on taking the, uh, the bodyguard job for Elias, or are you leaving it? You won't be able to jump if you take it. No, we can't. It's two days. You can get a blue, spend yeah. 24 hours, and go to blue, and then go back to red. Um, it is actually it, possible to do it if we want to do it. It is possible. Yeah, and, and, and it seems like something is going on there, so I think we should be there yeah. considering... Because Diana was buying tickets, right? Some, well, something's I, up. we've now got her computer, so I'm going to have a field day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, so let's get going. Let the information overflow. <laughs> I'll, t I'll, okay. I'll, I'll take the job. I'll be back in two days. Sounds good, dear. And thank you again for, well... Saving my life. Well, thank you I for making it profitable. I hope I don't have to fill in for other Elias. That would be very awkward. I'm sorry? I hope my Elias doesn't have to fill in for other Elias. He won't like that very much. Three sessions less, and it's possible you might have the finale, depending on how long the role-playing goes and <laughs> yeah. what you guys choose to do. But that's my current plan. Yeah. Um, and, that's and that's with going to Dakuna, if you still want to do that. Again, that is a completely optional side quest, I just threw it in there in yeah. case you wanted to do it because um, but I again, I don't want to make it seem like it's, it, it was not meant to seem like, oh my gosh this has something very like important with, to do with the main quest because it it's not really a port of the main quest, it's just I just kind of threw it in what there. What do people so. want to do? Because I still want to go back to Green and talk to a Reaper and look at Sinks, well, I guess Sinks research. I wanted to do a few things in blue. Yeah, yeah I need to go back to red. Take and... down Silas' Z yeah. and probably not yeah. be up front with everything with, with um, Sepia's boss. And then once that all done, we can, then it's yellow. Okay. So I'll, we'll probably, if that's the case, we'll probably have four, a fourth session to tie up those loose ends mm -hmm. that you need. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, okay. Because it's mostly just loose ends at this point that we're tying up before we... I think so. Yeah. Yeah, I'm assuming and then we're, I, we're heading to yellow. <laughs> and the side quest that I threw in was just in case you guys didn't have much that you needed to do. But it sounds like you guys have a lot to do. Mm -hmm. So, 
Um, I kind of want the, to do the side quest as well, but yeah. it depends on the time. <laughs> yeah, because yeah, I, I know some of... Because I, I know that um, I originally said we would finish this campaign around this time. So that's why I'm giving you guys an opportunity to not add in more yeah. than you need to right. go um, to. Because well, I... It's November. I've already written 80,000 words. I'm fine. So I'm, I'm <laughs> okay. okay. But it's yeah. everyone else as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I, I don't know if um, if uh, any of the others is ready to you know let this wind down or not. Um, I certainly am very excited. I'm not. I'm not kicking you out the door, but I'm saying I'm just. I'm excited <laughs> to, to start see, yeah. season two of Dragon Age of the Dragon yeah. Age campaign. Mm -hmm. Yay! So, um, so that's what you're doing next. I was just curious. That's what I'm doing next. Because uh, okay. everybody has been asking me when I'm when are auditions, <laughs> and I'm like I'm not done with Mass Effect That's yet. Awesome. Just... That's really cool. So... I told one of my online friends that you should sign up for your next audition. But yes, please do. Make it so much more harder for me to choose. Please do. <laughs> I'm gonna miss you guys when this is over. Yeah. I'm really yeah, gonna I'm gonna miss. Hey, you I'll so be much. I'll be dropping by. I think in 2017 if things go to plan. So, nice. I will be showing up in the US at some point. Okay. If I get a job, I might it. consider it. Yeah, I'll, I'll be able to go wherever. And... The pie reveal was cool. Yeah, the pie that was, was yeah. Really yeah. awesome. That was, that was an awesome reveal. I I was hoping it made sense. It, it made sense to me at the moment. At the it time. did. Yeah. It, it does. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it made a lot of sense. Yeah. Um, that was tough for me to keep hidden. For oh, <laughs> the whole campaign. And for the record, no, I did not plan uh, that option with with the with the with Beatrice. Man, I didn't plan that it was all whatsoever. That is crazy. Oh my god, delirium. It's just you were like, oh yeah, I'm having I'm having them analyze delirium. Oh yeah, and because my intention was to 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 have Pi successfully sabotage. The official intelligence, but it just didn't work out that way. <laughs> so I had to roll with it, and that's what happened. So, oh, like, sabotage so you, like deactivated it or just sabotage the attempt, right? Yeah, sabotage the event, the attempt, and Pi was probably just going to not say anything, uh, say anything until maybe near the end. Yes, but it, that's that's not how. It, I guess since you found out that this has been tampered with, I don't think Pi felt like he should keep quiet because. I think, I think he felt that it was, since he was serving you, it was his duty to inform you about the deception. So, anyway.